Hey everybody, welcome to Mortgage Today for Tuesday, January 30th, 2024, and oh, what a day it was. Mortgage-backed securities were up three basis points in the first hour of trading today. Seems like that's just kind of become the norm lately, being up like three to five basis points in the first hour. But day one of the two-day FOMC meeting got underway today in Washington, D.C., and though no change in the Fed funds rate is expected, it's a big week for central banks. Bank of Japan's meeting yielding expectations for an April rate hike, while the latest Bank of Canada announcement suggests an earlier initial rate cut than markets had priced in. The initial rate cut from the European Central Bank is expected in April, and our Fed is a coin toss for a March rate cut. I don't think we are going to get that. Uh, while the Federal Reserve seems to be convinced that it has done enough in the rate hike department, there are many who believe we are soon to bathe in the warm glow of renewed easy money. This is reflected in part in median rate forecasts, which now foresee the 10-year yield dropping to the 3.75 area by the fourth quarter. So fourth quarter. Assuming that the optimal blue Thirty-year mortgage rate remains. The optimal blue thirty-year mortgage rate maintains its trailing five-year average spread to the ten-year, about two hundred thirty basis points. This implies a six percent rate by the time Jack Skelton and Santa Claus come back around. Home prices fell month over month in November, according to Case Shiller Home Price Index. They are still up five point one percent on a year-over-year -year basis. We're seeing tighter correlation between different MSAs. Home prices rose 03 percent month over month in November, according to the AFHFH Home Price Index. These are for smaller loan amounts typically. They rose 6.6% on a year-over-year -year basis. That said, we are seeing dramatic price declines in some of the high-flying MSAs like San Francisco, which saw a 7.6% decline in December. But also a lot of these areas were way overpriced and are having some civil discord. The credit markets are getting more optimistic that we are going to avoid a hard landing. Credit spreads, which are the difference in yield between the corporate bonds and treasuries, are falling, which means the cost of borrowing for corporations is falling, which is going to lead to them expansion and keeping jobs better and soft landing and no need for rate cuts. Consumer confidence rose in January, according to the, con according to the Conference Board of Consumer Confidence Index. January's increase in consumer confidence likely reflected slower inflation, participation of lower interest rates ahead, and Anticipation of lower interest rates ahead and generally favorable employment conditions for companies continue to hoard labor. Year ahead, inflationary expectations fell to 5.2%, which is the lowest since March of 2020. I find it interesting that the conference board's inflationary expectations are so much higher than the University of Michigan's 2.9% estimate. Job openings came in higher than expected this morning and immediately pushed bonds into weaker territory. Fortunately, it wasn't that big of a beat in bonds back and bonds bounce back gradually by the end of the day. That's not to say all eyes are on data all day. If anything, month-end trading and positioning considerations ahead of tomorrow's events are just as relevant. Those events include Treasury's final quarterly refunding announcement in the a.m. and Fed in the afternoon. While we always need to be ready for big moves ahead of the Fed, it's hard to imagine this announcement could do anything it's hard to imagine what this announcement could do to be anything other than predictable. The only wild card is decision on future changes and quantitative tightening in Powell's press conference. UMBS ended the day up two basis points at 101.20. So at 101.20 puts us right underneath that 25-day moving average, but we've got that pretty strong floor right there at 101 even. And uh, that's converged with the 50-day moving average. So those are pretty tight floors. But we did get a post from our sponsor, and this is something you do actually have control with. I can drive money into your pocket. This is from a great book called No Excuses by Brian Tracy. Most people think success from comes most people think success comes from good luck or enormous talent, but many successful people achieve their accomplishments in a simpler way through self-discipline. So check out that from our sponsor at wellthatmakesense.com and make more money.